on you. You see them driving their trucks across Metro Detroit. Yes, and we were talking about Rizzo Waste Management. Pretty soon you're going to see the owners possibly in jail. We're talking about this father-son duo behind Rizzo, the company that collects trash throughout Macomb County. Just copped a plea deal. Our Rob Maloney is joining us live now this morning with more on this story. And Rob, this is tied to a major corruption probe in Macomb County. Right, it's, it's at the heart of uh, 17 arrests that have happened uh, in this uh, in this corruption scandal. And it's one of those things where, yes, it was a meteoric rise, those red Rizzo trucks going around Metro Detroit, but the fall has been just as quick. The original indictment was 43 complicated pages laying out the case. The end came much more simply. A single page with the Rizzos agreeing to appear in federal court next month in Port Huron for a plea hearing. Chuck Rizzo, the son, started out helping the feds in their attempts to ferret out the widespread corruption they found in Macomb County. He wore a wire and helped expose the payoffs of government officials in order to gain trash hauling contracts. In all, 17 arrests resulted. Somewhere along the line, though, Rizzo decided to stop helping the investigation, which led the feds to point much of their investigation toward him and his father. When the indictment came out, it was Dean Reynolds, a Clinton Township trustee closest to the Rizzos. The feds say that Chuck Rizzo served as bagman in paying bribe money to Reynolds from Boulevard and Trumbull towing magnate Gaspar Fiore in order for Fiore to get a township towing contract. But the bigger problem for Rizzo stems from the construction of this Bloomfield Hills mansion. He, along with his father, Charles, allegedly used friends to steal money from Rizzo Environmental Services. The other owner was a New York hedge fund as a way to finance the mansion. In all, Rizzo faced eight conspiracy and bribery counts and roughly half a dozen wire fraud charges as well. All right, so what do you do when you strike a plea deal? Well, you agree to testify in the case for reduced jail time or perhaps no jail time. Uh, in this case, it's starting to look like uh, Gaspar Fiore could be the target for that trial. And so we'll be watching for that as this case moves forward. Back to you. Well, speaking of this case, uh, Rod, when is the court hearing scheduled? Uh, the, the Port Huron hearing for the plea deal is scheduled for November 9th. And that's one that it's going to be a very crowded courtroom, no doubt, because yeah. a lot of people are going to want to see what comes from this. Yeah, we'll definitely be following this one, Rod. Thank you.